Preparing for survival, prepping for SHTF, emergency preparedness should not have to break the bank. There's countless things out there in the survival world that you could splurge and spend a ton of money. In some cases, dollar store might be a good fit. Did you know at the dollar store, you can find medical equipment, gardening supplies, and much more. And when it comes to spending only a dollar, you'd be surprised at the value that you're getting. So 25 items that you should buy from the dollar store. Good prepping information coming right up. If you guys are brand new here, welcome to our awesome community where we do prepping tips, emergency preparedness, and we also bring awareness, news type stuff that I think might affect you. So if you happen to find value in that, be sure to hit the notification bell so you guys can stay up to date. Let's jump into this one. 25 useful items that you can use for prepping, emergency preparedness, SHTF survival scenarios. 25, so let's get through them right now. Water, you probably don't care about the name brand of bottled water you buy. Purchase it in bulk at the dollar store you'll save tons of money. Number two, flashlights. When the power goes out, you don't wanna be rummaging around in the dark for your sole flashlight. Stock up and buy dozens at the dollar store for a bargain. And remember guys, these are common things, a common 25 list for the dollar store. If you guys have additional tips or items, please put them down in the comments below. We're all about helping each other out in this community. Batteries. So if you've got flashlights, you need a way to power them and all of your other gear, of course. So make sure you stock up on batteries of all types while you're shopping. And that's so true. Dollar Store has a variety of batteries. Next on the list, candles. Candles don't just provide a warm glow and ambiance. They can provide an important source of illumination when the lights go out. Next on the list, solar lights. If you want to have reliable lighting around your home, regardless of what the electricity situation looks like, invest in a few solar lights. The ones that you can hang up along any entryway or pathway and especially be useful should the grid go down. These things you can buy for next to nothing and do come in very handy. Next on the list, utility knives. The utility knives and box cutters you can buy at bargain stores aren't going to be of the highest quality. So save your important purchases for the sporting goods store. However, you'll find decent knives for sale at the dollar store. So don't be afraid to give them a try. Especially when it comes to somebody that's fairly new at prepping. You don't want to go spend a ton of money on a whole bunch of gear and not know if you're getting great gear. Get it checked off the list we're talking about items that you may never use so not spending a lot of money can come in helpful next on the list lighters and matches you can buy four packs of bic lighters for just a buck at most dollar stores stock up in case you need to light a propane stove candle or anything else should the grid go down don't want to use lighters no problem you can buy matches there too next on the list baking soda baking soda is one of the most versatile items you can keep in your pantry you can use it for baking cleaning hygiene, laundry, and so much more. Next one's a common one from the past, toilet paper. As the recent pandemic showed us, when things go down, toilet paper starts to disappear. Stock up a supply before the shortage and get it cheap at your local dollar store. I can tell you what, good toilet paper is nice. Some toilet paper, it doesn't matter what kind you got, is better than not having it. Next on the list, disposable cookware and cutlery. We're talking about from paper plates to cooking utensils, paper towels, and drinking cups. There are all kinds of disposable cooking and dining supplies for sale at the dollar store. Although these aren't the best quality, you're only gonna be using them once anyway, so who cares? In fact, I'm a big fan of paper plates. I probably use them a lot more than a lot of people. Next on the list is an all-time prepper staple, canned foods. You'll save more money and get better quality food by preserving your own vegetables and meats. However, to fill any gaps, buy a bunch of canned goods at the dollar store. A lot of truth is spewing out here. We're talking about prepping, guys. Stuff that you hope that you never have to use. Unless you're advanced, have been prepping for a while, and you know how to rotate your supplies, super smart to buy cheap cheap when it comes to things that you hope that you never have to use. Next on the list at the dollar store, bungee cords. These are important survival items that can be used for everything from securing a gate to keeping a load tied down on your truck. They're often sold in bulk bins at the dollar store for super low prices. So true, having some extra inexpensive bungee cords are awesome because I don't know how many times that I go around and look for a bungee cord and can't find one. Next on the list, rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol is necessary for medical emergencies, but it can also be used 
as fuel for an alcohol stove and for cleaning in many cases. Just like this video I showed you guys how to make a penny stove a long time ago. This is where this alcohol fuel could come into play. Next on the list is a big one. I actually have stocked up here myself for medical supplies. You'd be shocked at how many medical supplies they carry at the dollar store. So with that, consider basic medications at the dollar store. It's smart to head to the pharmacy to stock up on all your prescription medications you might need. However, you should also buy basic medications like pain relievers, anti-diarrheal medicine, and anti-acids from the dollar store while they are still available. This is one thing that would disappear very fast, any type of medications. However, if I were you, I would not rely on these as they will most likely run out sooner or later, try to educate your body to adapt to home remedies. A lot of times your body will pick up on it quickly and you won't get desperate like other people when the cabinet is empty. Lots to learn here. You can grow a lot of plants that serve a lot of purposes, such as pain reliever and digestive. We're talking about different herbal remedies that will help with pain relief and digestive and diuretics. These plants can be grown in pots or grown in your backyard. And just two weeks later, you can have a harvest on them and start making your own remedies. Next on the list, plastic sheeting. Plastic sheeting serves so many purposes in a survival situation. It can be used to create privacy around your home or campsite as a table mat or to warm the ground up from planting early in the season. It can also be used to make your own cold frames so you can grow vegetables during the colder fall and winter months. And we've used those many times for that reason. Next on the list, latex gloves. You can use latex gloves to treat medical wounds on yourself or any livestock. Good to consider a little bit of protection like latex gloves. Next on the list, sunscreen. Sunscreen is going to be hard to find in a survival situation. It's not technically a necessity, but if you burn easy in the sun, you're going to think otherwise. For those of you that haven't seen prepping lists, definitely an easy one not to think about. Next on the list, super glue. You can buy basic Elmer's glue at the dollar store, but super glue is what you should stock up on. You can use it to make basic repairs around the house and much more. Next on the list, aluminum foil, big one. You can use aluminum foil for cooking over an open fire and many other tasks such as blocking the wind, cleaning up ashes, and starting a fire and many more uses with foil. Next on the list, toothpaste. When it comes to stocking up your preps in your prepper pantry, the last thing you want to be doing is buying expensive toothpaste knowing it's just sitting in the tub. Toothpaste and toothbrushes are two other items that are perfect items to put on your dollar store shopping list. If you're married to a certain brand of toothpaste, you can often find the name brand options here too. And guys, smaller sizes, and only a buck usually. Next on the list, good one, soap. Buy a few packs or bars of soap. Not only will you need them in a survival situation, but they can also prove to be great products for bartering. Easy, cheap, and good bartering items. Always good to think about. Next on the list, spices. You can grow most of your own herbs and dehydrate them and put them in a survival stockpile, but spices for most people are another story. Stock up on things like salt, pepper, and cinnamon by shopping at the dollar store. And another side tip, when it comes to prepping and your food prepper pantry, most people out there are stocking up on bland foods. And when it comes to maybe even having a family and some kids, you're needing to tap into your food reserves, being able to make those taste better is definitely ideal. Next on the list, clothing. The clothing that is sold at the dollar store might not be the most durable or the most fashionable, but it will get the job done. You can buy things like scarves, gloves, flip-flops, shoelaces, t-shirts, baby clothes, and more. Get creative to save money and be prepared at all times. Of course, there are countless other purchases you can make at the dollar store that didn't make the list, but we had to stop somewhere. The only limitation is your imagination. Take a walk around your local dollar store and see what you can find. And to finish this message off, remember, if you guys haven't already been stocking up like crazy by now and you're just getting started, spending less, this is a way to 
do it at the dollar store. When it comes to this extra stuff, extra clothing, stuff that's gonna be sitting in some stockpile somewhere that you've got stashed, you don't always wanna spend a lot of money, especially straight out of the gate or in a time like now where we've got inflation and hyperinflation through the roof. And don't forget this big one. This is a big one for people that know what they're doing. Seeds and seed starting equipment. They aren't sold in the largest packages at the dollar store. You only get about five or 10 seeds per bag, but you can buy a decent selection of seeds at most dollar stores. And the same goes for seed starting equipment. And with that, if you guys made it to the end of the video and you guys don't have a good seed company, I'll leave a good link for survival seeds down in the description below. We've been using them for two years. We planted last year using all of their seeds and we were astonished. I hope you guys enjoyed a little break from the doom and gloom awareness and found this video helpful. Hopefully you wrote things down. Hopefully this will save you guys some money. Please share this video out, hit the thumbs up. And remember, we do videos weekly, so be sure to hit the notification bell so you guys can stay up to date. Keep prepping, keep learning, keep doing. We'll see you guys on the next one.